Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. To throw at the outset, here's Hertz. Flushed out right. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give them 15 yards to start their first drive of the game. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Here's Hertz to throw. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Hurts fumbles it. And the return will stop right around the 25. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, they've got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Avante Maddox. He's at the 30, the 20, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Allen now looks to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kaiser White. A great pick, nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero, but we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Sanders. He is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Hurts. And a big loss here as he's taken down. That's sacked by Tremaine Edmonds. So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. This one from 35 yards away. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. He was solid on the field goal, but not as solid on the kickoff there, and that'll put him at the 40-yard line to start this drive. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 40. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in, and they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. 
Three yards remain for second down. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Over the middle complete. It's Davis. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Come on, you serious dog. So offsides the call, and they understandably decline it. And this is why we're seeing more and more teams hiring that one coach to the staff that's in charge of all these things. This one's minor. It's pr pretty easy to figure out. But all the... And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Hassan Reddick. He's the one that drops him this go around, and that pass rush getting strong here. Back to back sacks. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Uh, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. So now on fourth down, Sam Martin on to punt for Buffalo. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking <laughs> because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try and increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it? touchdowns and they'll get him down here at the 23 for a running back that's kind of depressing right you get all that yardage but still no first down well it was a mile maybe a mile and a half oh and Hertz is gonna be hit and taken down to the ground It'll go in the books as a sack and a loss of a yard but more importantly it leads to fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. You can see this quite a bit on running plays with the guys out wide. A lot of times, though, it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right because it's away from the play usually. So a lot of it goes undetected. But I know this will surprise you. Allen hit. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Flush to his right. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half, 10-0 our score. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Fielded just inside the 20. A good work bringing that one back as he picks up about 16 on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. 
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing when you start. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And he goes out of bounds without getting rid of it. A big, big loss there. And it goes down as a sack as well. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. On the slant, he's got Davis. Now the Bills will hustle to the line. From the 40 now on second down, Allen forced out to his left. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing on first down is Allen. Buying time to his left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Allen's throw here, taken in by Knox. And he goes out right around the 39. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. On third and long, it's Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Cook. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal and from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb already at the line this philly offense set to go and with eight seconds on the clock really not a lot of time to try to put anything together oh a leap and he will make the catch and we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter On first and 10, it's Sanders, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. 
And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And meanwhile, Alan Stroh going to be caught by Davis. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's Allen to throw it. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Now Allen off the bootleg. Out to his left. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. I'm not quite sure what he thought he saw there, but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on the flash when he broke out of there, and they forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts. Yeah, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills' drive stalls out on fourth down. And the Eagles' defense able to hold. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here. Third and long. They'll drop to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A 40-yard punt, give him three on the return, and out will come the offense as they take over. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And, Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Allen from the gun on third down. He'll dump this off to Cook. And he is going to have a Bills first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Allen, maybe with a free play, steps away to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, <laughs> you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. 
And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right, and they will not cut into that 10-point lead. And that one, an absolute backbreaker. A chance to get back within a score, couldn't do it. Yeah, that one went begging, as they say, right? There's the opportunity, and it was missed. But all hope's not lost just yet. But boy, getting back within one score would have been a powerful motive. And he is going to be run down. What a disaster there. A huge loss. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. And Sanders has got it complete. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. And this offense on third down today, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third in a mile. Hurts fumbles it. And down inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Kaiser White. And the Eagles are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. That's going to go as a loss of 17 on the play, and that's going to bring up a second at about a mile here. Another run with Sanders, and he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders, and he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. The Eagles send out their punter now. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and they will take over first and ten. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Flag comes in, this might be a free play. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30 yard line. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math, they did it well, and it works for them. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down.
The kick by Bass is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. Well, that's one part of the equation. Puts them back within one score, but I'd be surprised if we don't see an onside kick coming up. Yeah, I think you're probably right, partner. They've still got the two timeouts, but without that third one, they can bleed a lot more clock on you. So how confident are you that the defense can hold them deep? I think you're exactly right. I'd line up and play for the onside kick here. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And I don't think he got there. No. Geez, short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Now on fourth and inches, they're going to want to talk this over. We get a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. The kick by Elliott is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. Well, some field goals are bigger than others, and that one makes this a two-score game. And with the way their defense has played all game long, that's kind of a love letter to them because that might very well be all the points they need. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia.